dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. Thank you, Lord. Hi, Esther. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm good. But why are you so happy when everyone is short of money due to inflation and job crisis? And do you know many people are suffering from health issues due to increasing pollution? Yes, I agree with you. But it is written in the Bible in Matthew 6.33 First seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all the things shall be added unto you. So, if we have faith in God, all our needs will be provided for according to his riches who is the maker of heaven and earth. It's quite interesting what you are narrating. Could you please enlighten me more on this? Yes, I'll be glad to Sanskriti. It is written in the Bible in Matthew 17, 20. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to a mountain move and it will move nothing will be impossible for you. When people face trials in their life, they tend to agonize mountain-sized faith. But Jesus teaches us that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, it is sufficient if planted in the soil of God's greatness. It's quite interesting. Can you narrate any story to me related to this? Yes. Do you like to hear the story of Lazarus? Yes, I'd love to. There was a man named Lazarus who lived in Bethany with his two sisters. This tiny tribe loved Jesus very much. But one day, a storm came into their life. Lazarus got very sick. His sister sent for Jesus for his healing. But Jesus was far away, preaching the word of God and doing miracles. And because of this, he arrived four days after Lazarus' untimely demise. When the sisters saw Jesus coming towards them, one of them ran towards him and wept. Lord. If you would have been here, our brother would not have died. Jesus reassured her, saying, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me will live even though they die. After this, Jesus went to towards Lazarus' tomb and prayed and said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out life and happy because of the words of God and the faith of his sisters. It's true, indeed true. I'm very convinced that your God is a faithful one. It was nice talking to you. Now I should go. Esther, could you please lend me your Bible so that I can also read the story of Lazarus? Yes, I would love to Sanskriti. If you want to read the story of Lazarus, you can read it from John chapter 11. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.